We're going to start with blue belt techniques now, blue belt self-defense techniques. We're going to combine the Tigers curriculum and the teen and adult curriculum. So just remember, first five techniques are just going to be for the Tigers. And teen and adults, you add the next five techniques, so you have ten techniques instead of the five. So we we'll start with retreating pendulum. Retreating pendulum is for a drag up side kick to come into your side. First thing you're doing is you're dropping from a right, you start from a right fighting stance. Dropping back to a rear twist. As you do that, the ball of this back foot is your break. So you've got to get onto the ball of that back foot and make sure you stop yourself as you do this downward block. Soon as you hit the downward block, several things are gonna happen. You're stepping out the kick, but as you do that, your right arm is gonna circle around to go into the hammer fist. If you look at the rhythm for this thing, it's going to go block, kick, hammer fist. It's all one motion when you start doing this fast. It's going from one strike, 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 and it's moving all in one motion. So from there, drop back, downward block, kick, hammer fist. Grab, from here she's going to drag up. She's going to do a scoop kick underneath the throne from here and bring your knee in front of you, and from there, doing a scissor motion as she goes into a buckle, okay? So we're gonna face this way now from the treating pendulum. Drop back to rear twist, downward block, side kick, hammer fist. Grab, drag up, scoop kick, pull that knee up, and take down. Awesome. So that's the treating pendulum. So for this one, the kick comes in, I'm blocking, kicking, hammer fist goes to the back of the neck. From there, I'm gonna grab this shirt. When I drag up, I'm dragging up, I'm gonna end up scooping, that's going right between the legs. So I'm gonna scoop it here, pull back, and as I do that, I'm gonna strike down, and she's gonna end up here. We do have an extension for this, but we're not gonna go through the extension for right now, okay? So that's retreating pendulum. Next technique is gonna be returning the storm, which is for another stick, another club attack, but it's a missed club attack. So this was a roundhouse club attack that's coming in, and it missed, and now they're coming right back, okay? So the first one we're gonna do is as it comes in, we're gonna step off the line, move out the way, and as it's coming back, you come right back. Double block, right hand is gonna grab the wrist, so now you kinda of have them in an armbar position from a stand-up position. From there, she's gonna continue on with that right leg to come around, bring them down into that armbar, go back down, and from there, she's going to knee, and then go back to your break. All right, let's face this way. So again, return the storm. Strike comes in, you step off the line, come back, Double block, grab, bring them all the way around, knee, and then break. So here's what we got. Strike comes in from here. I'm moving out the way. Double block here. I'm grabbing with my right, and I'm keeping put pressure on that arm here. From here, I'm going to continue to step through and bring her down. So let's do it from this position here. So again, it comes from here. I'm going to move here, grab. Bring them down to here. Now this part, normally on uh, crossing talon, we would grab the face and knee the face. From here, you're gonna keep this here, and if you can at that point, you can actually knee right into that shoulder as you push down and try to dislocate that shoulder as you do that and break the arm. And then from there, you'll grab the club and cut her out. All right? So that's returning the storm. What's next? Gripping talon. Gripping talon is for a cross wrist grab. Uh, crossing, I'm sorry, for the same side wrist grab. Crossing talons for the cross wrist grab. Gripping talons gonna be for the same side. So my left arm grabbing her right wrist, okay? From here, left hand is gonna snake under and re-grab the person's wrist. As you do that, you're pulling in. As you pull, step forward and go into a back fist to the groin. From here, you got two inward elbows, body elbows. So you got inward, outward elbow. Then she's gonna go into a rear twist into a back fist. That back fist is going to be a whipping back fist because that means it's going to go all the way through the target and then behind her. The reason why it's going to end up behind her because from here, same thing, I'm going to do it from this position. She's going to end up doing a scissoring motion as she buckles the inside of the leg and hits a forearm right to the back of the neck. Now, when she gets to that point, this right arm grabs the back of the head and you're going to knee them in the face as you cover out. All right? So facing this way. They grab you, reach under, with your, reach under with your left, pull them into the back fist, and as you do that, you got two elbows. Rear twist, back fist to the groin, and then from there, continue on, take them down. So this whole time, you're moving this way. Now from here, you're gonna grab the head, knee, and then you end up covering out. 
Awesome. So let's see. Just that over here. First strike, when I said to bring your left hand under, you're coming underneath this way, reach naked and grabbing through. So from here, as I step, I'm gonna grab, step through, and from there, I'm going to a back fist. This arm, I don't want it up here in my face. I'm gonna get it down here across my chest, back fist, inward body elbow, outward body elbow. From there, I'm gonna go into a rear twist, back fist to the groin. Now, this is where I'm gonna go through, bring this hand back. From here, as I hit the inside of this leg, I'm gonna hit the back of this leg. I'm gonna make that happen, boom, both at the same time. This arm stays pressed up against me just for a check. From there, you'll grab the head, and as you do this, you're gonna knee, face, boom, as you cover out, and you end up on the other side, all right? What's the next technique? Circling the horizon. Circling the horizon for a straight right punch, okay? This one, we're kind of going around that punch. So, punch comes in, your left hand is doing an inward parry as your left foot steps out, and you're gonna end up in a cat stance pointed at the 45. So from here, the punch comes in, there we go, and as she does it, and we're parrying, her hand's gonna stay there. This is in, a, uh, your right hand's in a chamber position. From that chamber, you're gonna go an uppercut right above the person's arm, and from there, keep that, you're holding on to that arm, you're gonna come underneath them as you step forward into inward body elbow. From that body elbow, you're gonna drop down to a closed kneel as you do a back fist and back of the knee, and then you're gonna go through that back fist, rotate around, reach hand to the groin, and keep your left hand close up by your face. All right, let's face this way. Again, right punch comes in. We step off the line, inward parry, end up in a cat stance. While you're in the cat stance, uppercut over the arm. Now step through and inward elbow underneath the arm. From there, run, I'm sorry, close heel, back fist to the back of the knee, and come around, reach hand to the groin. All right? So punch comes in, I step off the line. I'm going to take cat stance here. Uppercut to the face, step in, inward elbow to the body. From there, I'm gonna drop into a closed knee. When I do that, I'm hitting the back of that knee, and as I come around to the rich hand, I'm going here to the groin. And from there, I'm gonna cover up. There's a takedown there, but we're not gonna do the takedown right now, okay? Uh, next technique. Reiki base. Reiki base. This one's a pretty easy one, as far as I'm concerned, because for a double lapel grab, somebody grabs you, you're not having it. Let's fix this problem. So, you're going to reach over just like you do on Mason Aggression, grab and pin. But this time, when you step forward, the first thing you're not doing is a hammer fist. First thing you're going to do is going to be an uppercut to the lower stomach. Then you're going to come around, hammer fist to the face. From there, you're going to pull them in. And as you do that, the way you're doing it is you're just kind of raking right across the top of the arm. And then you're going to take that same arm, flip it right back out to a hand sword to get them off of you. From there, you're going to go on the inside of both arms with two cranes right on the inside of that arm, pull them in, smashing elbow, all right? So now facing the other way, step in, uppercut until you grab, come around, hammer fist, rake in, outward hand sword, double pull on the inside of those arms into a smashing elbow, awesome. So from here, grab. I'm grabbing as I grab, I'm stepping forward, uppercut to the lower stomach, from there, I'm gonna come around, hammer fist to the face. I'm raking in, only to bring them right back out with a hand sword that way. From there, I'm gonna do a double, I'm doing a crank, and that's happening on the inside of the arm. When I do that, that pulls that face right back close to me, and I can go right into an inward elbow from there. And from there, you can cover around as you're done. Thank you. Okay, so Tiger's curriculum, that's, where, that's your last technique, so that's where this ends for you guys. Teen and adults, we're going to continue on because you have five more techniques that we got to add on to this. So we're going to pick it up from Thundering Hammer. Thundering Hammer, one of my favorite techniques. Thundering Hammer is for a right punch, okay? So you're going to be on the outside of this punch, and this one you're actually stepping into it. So this is a right straight punch coming at you. When that punch comes in, you're stepping forward into a neutral bow as you do an inward block on the outside of that arm. From there, you're gonna rotate. Two several things are gonna happen. As you're rotating, left hand's gonna turn into a check. You're gonna to rotate to a lunge stance as you do an inward elbow to the body, okay? I'm sorry, I'm doing flashing mace. <laughs> okay, so step in again. We're gonna go inward. From here, it's gonna be a forearm strike. I'm gonna do this with this arm. You want your forearm to be parallel to the ground. 
You're gonna keep your arm bent. You're not gonna extend your arm out straight so you don't end up just hitting somebody with your shoulder. You want this whole thing to hit right into the stomach. So she's gonna end up right there with the other hand cocked up, ready to go. From that strike, she's gonna roll around as the person bends and check the person's arm. And from that check, she's gonna drop a hammer fist on the kidney. From there, this is gonna come around, check. And when she did that, she's in a reverse lunge stance. Now to do the next hammer fist, she's gonna rotate back to another lunge stance and do the last hammer fist there. From there, she's gonna drop back to the 45 as she does a back fist to the face, goes through it, step drag in. She's gonna hip arm, grab the chin. Now, she's gonna hit the top of the head as she snaps the neck this way, and as she does that, she's gonna rotate to a forward bow. All right, so that's thundering hammer. Let's face this way, so stepping in, inward block. From there, she's gonna rotate in and do a forearm strike to the body. As they bend, she's gonna check that arm and go right into a hammer fist to the kidney. Rotate that check, and we'll come around to another lunge stance and go to a back fist to the back of the neck. Bounce off of that, step back to the 45 with a back fist. Step drag in, heel palm, grab, and snap. So, that's all we got. And from here, steps in, I'm going inward block here. This is coming here and striking to the stomach. From there, I'm gonna check that arm, hammer fist drops here, I'm going into a lunge stance from here. From there, I'm gonna switch my check to here. If that happens, I'm gonna switch my check, come around, hammer fist to the back of the neck. From here, I'm gonna rotate out, I'm gonna step back, go into a back fist to the face here, step drag in, Heel palm, grab the chin, and when I get to here, I'm gonna rotate to a forward bow, hit the top of the head as I go into a snap. All right? So that's thundering hammers. Next technique, thrusting wedge. Thrusting wedge is gonna be for an attempted choke. So that's for the person that's coming in, you can see it coming, and so you're gonna retaliate before they actually get it in there. So facing that way, you're gonna step forward into a forward bow with your right leg, and as you do that, you're gonna do a double claw out. You want your elbows raised up because your elbows are gonna be the ones that are gonna kind of clear their arms out the way. From that claw to the face, you're gonna do several things. You're grabbing the inside of the wrist with your left hand while you're maneuvering the right hand around. And as you're moving their arm around, you're gonna to rotate to a neutral bow and go into an upward elbow underneath that chin. Using this left hand, you can actually pull them into that upward elbow. From there, we're gonna come down, Heel ball. All right? So let's go facing this way. Stepping in, double claw. So you're in the right forward bow here. Grab with the left, rotate in, upward elbow, and heel ball claw. All right? So here's what we got. As your choke comes in, I'm stepping. If you notice, my elbow comes up. So when I do that, I can throw my fingers and right into her face in your eyes. From there, I'm gonna grab this left, rotate this arm out. When I do this, I'm gonna pull in, upward elbow from here. As soon as I hit that elbow, I'm gonna come crashing down with a heel of my hand as I claw down the face. And then from there, you can cover up. All right, so that is thrusting wedge. Next technique, begging hands. Begging hands is gonna be for a double wrist grab. So, it's one of these guys, okay? So, from here, you're doing two things. You're raising the arms up just as high, as high as you can, and you're gonna shut down as hard as you can. When you drop back, you're doing this in a really hard and a really fast motion. As you drop back, you're dropping back to a neutral bow to go to here, and that's gonna take you right into a cat stance so you can go into a front kick to the groin. So from there, first motion, there, front kick, land, and now from there, she's gonna land and step in to a double heel palm. This is gonna be where one of those we're gonna to have to try. 